Welcome back to another video. This video is gonna blow your mind with how crazy good pendulums actually are and how you should never give up. Literally took me up until the very last card in my deck. Incredible match to watch. So let's get started. But before we do, hey, it won't hurt you guys to get more of these beautiful trip playmats because they're not only playmats, they're also championship belts that you strut around to your opponent after you destroy them, as we're about to do, baby. Also, don't forget to smash the like button. Comment down below what the best deck is. And let's get started. Let's get started in this absolute awesome thing of the best deck versus Dragon Link. Let's go. <laughs> This is going to be an incredible video. Before we get into this video, I want to give a, a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Exter. They provide some of the coolest wallets I've ever seen in my life. Super slick and look cool. I'm sure you guys saw that commercial on Instagram. I did. It's super epic. Really nice and slick and has protection from everything. Click a button and you can also track it from your phone. So check that out in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get into this absolute ass open of Pendulum vs. Dragon Link. Let's get started, boys. Oh, let's go. You guys are about to witness the most incredible match of Yu-Gi-Oh you've ever seen. I'm going to fast forward to game two. We lost game one. I only want to show you guys what's interesting. And that is game two and game three. This is, wow, wow. You guys are in for an incredible show here. And now we're going to game two. And I'm playing Dynamists. That's right, baby. I'm playing Dynamists. And this deck is the fucking, it, it's not like the best deck in the world. I want to showcase you guys the power of this deck right now. So we got drolled here, uh, saving our opponent from a 5 negate Dynamis board. Unfortunately, because the point of the Dynamis combo, I'm going to explain it later, but you guys will see hopefully in game 3 the whole point of why I'm playing Dynamis. But what you do with Dynamis is you want to normal summon you, uh, any level 4 Dynamis and then a, a ser special Ceratops. And this gives you a free Electrum normally. So when Electrum comes out, this will be way better. But for now, it gives you a free card with Charge. And with charge is really good with, the, with souls, so you play it as a souls combo. But anyways, I'm going to showcase you guys the combo now. And what's really cool about this deck and why this is like the most insane play match I've ever had. So because of Droll, we couldn't do some plays that we wanted to with Crowley and extending with Time Star. We want to go Time Star, Souls, Send Jackal, Mighty Master. Do some cool plays by sending the charge after you gain the plus from it. Lots of cool stuff like that. We can't because of Droll. So we're going to have to go through with a slight board here. We're facing a Dragon Link. And I want to show you guys how a Mascarina and a Dryden could actually end up de de stopping the entire Dragon Link board. And this is only the beginning of how crazy this match actually is. So stay tuned to the end. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. He does a cool play there to summon the Tracer with the quick launch. And now you guys are going to see something really cool. So I'm going to let him go off. I'm going to not gonna negate anything. A lot of people would have negated some stuff earlier. Nah, nah. Who's the negate god? I am, baby. I tell you one to use your negates. Well, I consider interruptions negates. They're all interruptions negates. Same thing. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this very correctly to get the most out of Dryden and get the most out of your extra deck. So look at this. When you use your interruptions very carefully, you get to do a lot. So you guys see he goes into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, right? And what this does is it negates one of my cards. Instantly, it looks like I'm probably, I probably lose, right? That's what it looks like. He goes into uh, some cards here. Uh, so it looks like you're going to lose from that, but no, no. <laughs> I understand it stops a Dryden, but don't worry. We're going to do a very cool play here. Maybe some of you guys see it already. But what we're going to do here is, you guys are going to take this in. Look at this, look at this. So he's going to go uh, into that, and now he's going to go into Boral Sword, thinking he's going to protect this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Dryden, to pop the hot dra Dragon Archfiend Abyss, He's going to negate the negate that card with this. And then I chain Mascarena to Link Mascarena and Dryden. Dryden is off the field now because this card, Heart, Heart, Heart Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, specifically says that it negates cards face up on the field. So you're going to chain the Mascarena to get the Dryden off the field. Hence, the Dryden effect will trigger. Also, I'm going to use Mascarena effect to send the Boral Sword to the graveyard to summon out Underworld Goddess. Boom. And Dynamis Charge triggers, adds this to my hand. Boom. Let's fucking go, baby. He ends up, uh, he's going to keep the R Dragon Ruler on the field uh, with uh, the this, this set trap. I'm in Desires, and now I'm going to do some really cool plays to finish off game two here and win the duel. So, man, Pendulum is just insane what it could do. And the fact that it has so many versatile interruptions. It's not like 
you're you're set to rank forge. It's not like you're set to synchros. It's not like you're set to jackals and masters and vortex. Like you're not set to anything. You can do so many cool versatile plays with pendulums that the opportunities are endless with this deck. And that's what really blows my mind. I mean, we took the most shit deck of all pendulums ever, Dynamis, and turned it into an uh, incredible deck here. Now, I understand we had two, we had, through Droll, we had two interruptions, and those two interruptions turned into a lot more than just two interruptions, thanks to the power of Mascarena and Goddess. Now, I want to show you guys what's actually crazy about this match, and that's the game three of this match. This match is going to blow your minds. So, here he goes into Dragon Maid, he's going to go do his thing, and this is what's really going to blow your guys' minds here. Uh, now, I'm going to end up winning the match with one card left in my deck. It's, I hate to spoil it for you guys, but it's incredible what's going to be done here. Uh, Lava Golem seems like it's going to help out here, but unfortunately, we don't actually have any good cards in our hand afterwards, so it's not going to help out too much, despite the fact of it looking really good here. We're just not going to open uh, enough good cards to be able to break the board, and you're going to end up with one of the most amazing grind duels you guys will ever see. He gets rid of my Mighty Master, which is really my only way to clear the board, because I wanted to Selene and destroy everything, so it's all good. He loving years one. Now we're gonna have to deal with the big board of Savage, Appalooza, Dragon Maid Trap. I love a Golem get rid of these two. And now he's left with a Dragon Maid Trap. And I draw my, my Servant way too late, unfortunately. I have Pan Call here, and there's still nothing I can do. I'm not able to have enough weight. I sided out my Crowley because I sided in Lava Golem in Sphere Mode. And on top of that, I just realized that I'm completely out of Magicians, Harmonizing can't Special anything. So now here comes the most interesting way to play this deck. Uh, the grind game. The grind game. Who has a better grind game? Dragons or Pendulums? I have no more Magicians for Harmonizing. I lost on my Mighty Master to be able to Selene him. There's just nothing you could do here. I sided out my Crowley. I go into Track of Nine here knowing that he's gonna... I want him to force the Tidying. And I don't have Ignister, uh, which would have put these two in my extra deck. I needed him to, to waste that Tidying ASAP. So, uh, I search Abductor at the end phase into the Void. Obviously, it will trigger first. He had to banish his dragon, his chamber, so he can't summon back with tidying. And now, uh, let's see exactly what he could do here. He ends up getting rid of my, my card in hand, and now he's gonna uh, attack for 3,000 uh, because he can't, because he activated the factor of that, so he can only attack with 3,000. My turn goes, uh, and then I'm gonna go into uh, Servant Mighty Master, and uh, look at this play. Really big brain. You guys see what I just did there? So I go Servant into Mighty Master, the most biggest brain play ever. I understand that this doesn't do anything for me. So what do I do? I crash with Mighty Master. I crash with Mighty Master to get me any normal spell. What normal spell do I get? I get Pot of Desires. Okay? Now it gets even better. So you have to utilize the effect of Servant as much as you can. Uh, sometimes I, I use Special Reflection just so I can use Reflection to search a scale or to search a Citadel if I want to. But what I do is I sit up on Mighty Master, Pop specifically to search Desires, and now it gets better. I actually crash with my Servant again to put it back in my scale, bro! To put it back in my scale. So not only do I get a free desires, but I get a free servant back in my scale. Then I activate desires to draw two. So this is where it gets more interesting. I reckon I don't pendulum summon yet. I recognize that I I, I still can't destroy his board. I mastery, I negate it with Mighty Master, specifically to hold a spell counter on Mighty Master, and then I lava golem him. And now I go to my next turn. I I he attacks it like he's forced to. Mighty Master will trigger again. I I did that that just so I could search another Desires. So I use Mighty Master to search another Desires. Now this is where it gets insanely interesting. So he doesn't have much extra deck left to put up Negates, which is unlucky for him. He could have fixed the extra deck better to do that, but he's out of Negates to, uh, to have it in his deck. So he's just trying to set up for his next turn. And now what I do at this point is Pen Call is dead. All these cards are dead. So I go Servant and I go Desires. And now here it goes. I end up drawing two cards. I have two cards left in my deck. I have a Dynamis Charge, He's at 6,000, by the way. I think we forgot the line points earlier. Diamond's Charge, Harmonizing, Pen Call, Dark Ruler. So this is what I'm left at now. And I'm like, man, I got to find a way to, to kill him. I got to find a way. Servant uh, is at one spell counter now from the Desires. I got to find a way to kill him this turn. I need a Dynamis left in my deck. I have two cards left in my deck. And I need a Dynamis in my deck. Or otherwise, I'm fucked. So I activate Dynamis Charge here. And I'm like, I don't, I didn't want to look at my deck. I'm like, please, I have a Dynamis left. And what happens? I don't have a Dynamis left. I'm like, oh my god, that just makes me so sad. 
that there's none left. And then I'm like, you know what? That's actually fine because I'm going to activate Dark Ruler. Uh, so I'm going to Pendulum Summon and then I'm going to activate Dark Ruler. And then Dark Ruler is, I understand he's not going to take any damage this turn, but I needed that one extra spot counter in my, in for Servant to resolve. Then I resolve Servant of Endymion, the special magical abductor. At this point, uh, I'm going to link these into Selene. Uh, Selene with special Purple Poison. Uh, and then Purple Poison will go into Trachonine, and then I'll go into Dryden. And then uh, Dryden will pop. Uh, his, his well, Dryden will pop his Lava Golem, and then I do a cool play where I go Trachonine, Dryden, Tiger. And then this gives me uh, another way into Dryden for his turn, and gives me another monster to go Access Code for his turn. So now, against him, uh, I have to save this link to Special Summon. Now, he goes into Synchron. I instantly pop the Savage Dragon, and uh, just like that, uh, he's going to go his turn. Now, before, I, I I forgot on his turn, I had to Special Summon a Celestial. So, I, his turn, I should have Special a Celestial to give me another monster with 1500 attack points so uh he he is actually at 7,000 life points uh but i have a celestial in the field that i should attack with and then i go into tiger to special that and then i dry and pop and then i selene special so i had like 7,000 damage i had 8,000 damage but i just want to show crazy game with zero cards left in my deck this deck is crazy and that just blew my mind how i won with zero cards in my hand and it looked like all hope was lost zero cards left the play with servant and mighty masters won the whole duel and that was just remarkable i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was an absolute blast to to actually duel that win with zero cards talk about adrenaline rush it is the number one adrenaline rush i ever had to play Yu -Gi -Oh. uh just because you won with zero cards this duel was live on stream it was incredible incredible feeling and it was all possible because of the big brain play of servant and endemian the biggest brain play ever because it still ended up serving in my scale and i still got pot of desires for free and everything completed like normal except i had a free pot of desires i got i searched pot of desires for free just like that and servant was back in my scale where it belonged fucking incredible you guys got to learn these tips and tricks and that's how you're gonna win with pendulums so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm actually gonna showcase the deck list of this video on patreon right now so if you guys want to go see that deck list, I just posted on Patreon this second. So go check it out. It is my Dynamis Magician deck that really takes advantage of Moray of Greed because Dragon Pit Magician is a, is a water. Spellbook Magician Blue Boy is a water. And all the Dynamists are water. So it takes advantage of Moray of Greed that helps synergize with Servant and Abductor because Moray of Greed says draw three cards and is a spell counter. And to top all that off, the Dynamis Charge synergizes with Magician Souls which synergizes with Time Star Magician. So it works very well together, surprisingly. And it gives you level fours for your Dryden play, which is important because I think Dryden is heavily underrated. The fact that you also get a free card here to play around with Mascarina and Underworld Goddess because Chakanine, after you pop a card with Dryden, Chakanine will give you a free card. I talk about all this synergy in my Patreon about this deck, so go check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I showcase what you could do uh, with a few cool plays with Pendulums. And that Servant Desires play saved me this duel with zero cards off to my deck. So this is one of the most incredible matches I've been a part of. I loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!